So in today's video, we're talking about entertainment, uh, media kind of entertainment um, in your camper van. Not only in the camper van, but anywhere really. It's just that I'm in the camper van. So that's why we're in a camper van. Um, and recently, over the last kind of like few months, we've been using a projector, this little bad boy. Um, when we go out camping, uh, to watch films inside the van and also when we're outside with a group of people uh, we can project on the side of somebody else's van or something like that um, and watch videos that way and it's been really good um, really kind of like easy to use and it's a small little unit you know it's quite vibrant and everything else but it's got its limitations shall we say um, in the fact that it uses 240 volts only There's no adapter for it or anything. It's just 240 plugged straight into the back there. So when you're camping and everything's really kind of like best on 12 volts or less, this has been a bit of a trouble. Um, so I have two other devices that I'm gonna try out today. One is this little tiny projector here, uh, which has got a battery bank in it. Um, it has a speaker in it as well. It's full HD and um, supposed to give you three and a half hours on its internal battery of uh, playing a film um, it's got outputs for um, audio uh, usb for charging your phone or something like that um, obviously hdmi input um, and then obviously a little uh, micro usb uh, so you can actually charge it and the second one is this is just out on the market just recently uh, it's by a company called blackview and it's called the max one it's a mobile phone <laughs> uh, and it's got a projector in it so uh, my uh, galaxy note 5 has finally died um, so i need a spare phone and i always like to have one android uh, one apple so that i can do things perhaps that um, Apple don't allow you to do I can do it on the Android and it's nice to have a spare phone for uh, flying the drone and all that kind of stuff so you don't get phone calls while you're trying to do something like that um, so I thought you know this it was a little bit more expensive than I was looking at it's 317 pounds and the fact that it's a projector and a phone all in one kind of swayed it for me because this is 200 pounds on its own Obviously, it's not a smartphone. It is just a projector. So I thought, well, let's give it a go. Um, for this little kind of experiment, I'm going to be using um, my uh, Amazon Fire Stick um, to plug into the big projector, the little projector. Um, and obviously, this one, I can just go straight onto YouTube or whatever um, and just play straight from the phone. What's absolutely fantastic about it. So let's see what it actually looks like and what they sound like. Now each has obviously got an internal speaker and for reference and review, I'm gonna only use the internal speakers um, just so that you know what they sound like on their own. However, um, each obviously, including the uh, the phone, has got a headphone or audio out. Um, and what we do, we've got this little Bluetooth speaker. Called Alexa. Uh, so this is an Echo Dot version 2 inside this big battery speaker case um, and on the back there you've got an audio input. Um, so basically using the audio input hook it up to these devices and that's how we would listen to it um, and I'll give you an example of that towards the end just to see, see what it sounds like. Uh, but for now let's get into testing uh, what these projectors do and uh, what they look like, what they sound like as well but mainly what they look like. Um, so we are going to start off with the good old faithful because that's the one that's been working for a while see how it does um, inside the van um, and for point of reference what we're actually using is this probably can't really get it all in um, but yeah this um, really big card um, that measures point to point uh, the equivalent of a 40 inch tv so that's 40 inch and we we don't exactly use it in its entirety um, but yeah that's mainly what it's used for uh, we can put it anywhere in the van it's nice and compact um, but it gives us a perfect surface for projecting on so straight away what you're probably hearing is the noise of the actual fan inside the projector um, 
so there's just no kind of getting around that one unfortunately um, it is just going to be that bad so we're going to go to youtube and um, the beauty about using the uh, the amazon fire stick is that you get the um, alexa control as well like that one So as you could hear from that, um, it's quite a tinny noise, but you know, it's loud enough, certainly loud enough. And as you can see from the picture quality, it's okay. Um, it is just the fan noise in the background and the fact that you need an inverter to power it. Um, so let's flick over now. We're gonna try the phone projector. So I think the phone so far is a really nice phone. It is just a general Android phone. Um, it's fast enough, you know, the cameras aren't fantastic on it, um, but they're certainly doable. Um, so for the price point, it isn't so bad really. In the video description, you'll find uh, a link to the website where it's got all the detail spec and everything on there. Um, but for now, I just want to do a quick review of the phone. It's a good phone. The cameras are good on it. Um, it you know, the screen's good on it. It's an Android phone, so it does everything it's supposed to. And obviously we're reviewing um, the fact that it's uh, got a projector inside as well. Go into projection going to turn this volume up a bit once it's in projection um, skip back to the YouTube screen there it is and just press play just wanted to let you know as well the flickering you've seen is the fact that I'm recording an image played back via the projector when you're actually in front of the projector you don't get to see that flickering at all So as you can see, it's um, it's an easy kind of like device to get to use. It is just the phone uh, with a projector on it. Uh, it's just a shame the projector is blurred. So it actually looks like everything's got a hue to the outside of it. Uh, there's no way in there that you can actually uh, change the um, focal point or anything like that. So unfortunately, for me, that's probably going to go back because um, I need it as a decent phone. Yes, and it is a decent phone, but really I only bought this phone because of the projector that was built into it. I can buy the same kind of type of phone uh, without a projector in for much less. So yes, unfortunately it's going back. But how about kudos to a really cool idea though. I mean, just project a phone wherever you want. Now the last device, I think he's going to be something that you're going to really consider buying. Um, I really like it. Not for the fact that it's like me, because it says Ape Man on there. Um, it's an Ape Man digital projector, and it's absolutely um, tiny. So it does have a focus wheel on the side, so you can really get that really crisp and clear there. Um, obviously, we are now using the, uh, the little Amazon stick, so now I can actually just go... YouTube. No, oh, look straight there. Getting that from YouTube. See? So what we do now with our little uh, Alexa Bluetoothy speaker thing is uh, we're not actually using it Bluetooth. Uh, we connect in the auxiliary, switch it on. So even with all the lights on, it's still easy to see that and you could still watch it. There's no problem with the image quality or anything like that, even with all the lights on in the van. 
So I can't wait to get it out with one of our group meetups. You know, we get out camping, and uh, especially if it's Mevy with his white van, it's just a fantastic backdrop for uh, for putting a projected image onto. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm really excited about this little thing. Not only is it tiny in comparison to the old one, but so far superior in image quality. Um, and especially if you connect it with the external speaker, um, obviously then you just get the full experience of like being in a nice little cinema or watching TV, except, you know, we can put the TV wherever we want. We don't actually have a TV in the van, you see. Uh, there just isn't somewhere that's convenient to put a TV. Whereas you can project an image on the ceiling of the van. Um, you can put this board pretty much anywhere. Or if we wanted to, we could just hang a sheet off the uh, the cupboards or something like that. Or we can go outside the van and project it onto the side of the van. It's a silver van, so it's not too bad. Or we could take this on the outside. The possibilities really are endless. Um, with the Fire Stick and the Wi-Fi in the van, it means we can watch anything off of you know, Amazon, Netflix, YouTube. Uh, we can stream other things from like catch-up TV. And you might also be asking, yeah, but what about actual live TV, John? Well, in a future episode, I will be going over how you get live TV on your mobile phone uh, using a little aerial and a tiny little sender unit that I've got as well, which does allow you through the sender unit to receive via their little app um, live TV, terrestrial TV, digital TV signals. And the beauty about me using this setup here with the Amazon Fire Stick it allows me to airplay or if you've got an android phone you can do airstream or um, anything that supports the ability to send from your mobile through to the amazon stick so that for me is just fantastic this is an all-in-one kind of media center for us to watch tv uh, when we're living in the van so we get our netflix fix and um, we can obviously watch youtube and all the uh, people that we follow on youtube uh, ultimately watch TV as well like watch the uh, the other you know, live stuff on TV catch up with a few little silly programs we like to watch like you know Formula One or cycling or now and again Mandy likes to watch friends that kind of stuff really so um, as with everything uh, the links to buy any of the products featured um, are in the description down below if you want the little uh, battery speaker pack for the echo dot that's down in the video description down below. Uh, so is an Amazon Fire Stick. So is the little projector. So is the big projector. And um, if you wanted to buy the Blackview M Max One mobile phone, um, yeah, good luck with that because they sold out after about a week of uh, bringing it onto the market. Um, simply because um, I think they sold about a hundred and they've all been sent back. Yeah, so not so good really. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care now. Bye.